Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to display your artist images creatively when creating an artist analysis page digitally. So looking at the work of Abbey Diamond, we can see automatically it's really fluid, it's really relaxed, it's watercolour, it's a really soft kind of feel to our images. So we need to make the actual layout of our images reflect that same thing. So what we're going to do first is make sure that our layer is selected and right click our layer and rasterize our layer. This is the exact same in Photopia or Photoshop, whichever program you are using. So once we've rasterized our layer, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go to edit, trans oh. edit, transform and scale. Holding the shift key down to make sure that my image is scaled properly. So once I've made it a little bit bigger, just click enter. And now a really good way we can get rid of these harsh edges that don't really reflect this soft feel that Abbey Diamond does is by just using the eraser tool. So on the left hand side of your tool column, you'll find the eraser tool. So just click that and at the top, we're going to make sure that the hardness of our brush has been turned all the way down and that you can just play around with the size and decide how much you want. So I'm just going to go about there. So once we're happy with that, we can see it. So I'm just going to draw all the way around my Abbey Diamond bird. So I want to get rid of everything else around it. This is just an example, guys, just to show you what you can do with this tool. You don't necessarily have to use it. But in terms of getting rid of harsh edges, it's just a really easy and quick fix. So I'll just hit around that. Can get rid of the way bigger brush. So go back, make the brush a bit bigger, and then just get rid of all that excess. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I can go back to edit, transform, and scale. Hold the shift key and bring it back down. And enter. Now I'm just going to position my bird at the top there and click enter. So that's one way we can do it. Another way we can do it is if I just click that bottom layer is by actually getting rid of some of the image using the selection tool now this can work really interesting with sh um, sharp silhouettes so like we can see this bird it's a really nice clean silhouette and the background is really clear so it works with images really well like that so again I'm just going to edit transform and scale and just making it a bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing enter Going back to our layers, I'm just going to right click and rasterize so we can edit the image. Now, on the left hand side where our tool panel is, we can see there's a button that says quick selection tool. If you can't find this, just right click some of your tools and it might be in the drop down box. So once I've got that clicked, I can see at the top of my screen there's a plus and there's a minus. So I want to make sure it's on the plus. If I want to keep my bird and get rid of some of this white background, I'm going to click on the white background first. So I'm just going to select that. If you feel like it's selected too much, like it has there, I can go to the top, click the minus, and just get rid of any extra selection that I might not want. So once I've done that, I'm going to go to select it. I'm going to click the delete button. And it's got rid of that and then click select and deselect and that will get rid of our running ants. Now just to touch it up a little bit I'm going to use the eraser tool again just make that a bit smaller and just clean up any access space that I might not want. Okay, so once we're happy with that, we can 
position or image wherever we like so it can kind of be a really nice way to frame things so we move that one down the bottom or we could even layer them up couldn't we just have a play around with your page and see what you like best so just to show you what it might look like so once I start adding some writing in we can see that just by using that selection tool it's framed the title really nicely so that's just another really creative way you can alter your um, artist analysis pages and position your images creatively thank you for watching